My boys tell me about their first time. And I can see the pain behind the pride in their eyes. I realize it's true that they don't think boys can be sexually assaulted too. You know, it starts when we just kids. Grown folk talking about us saying, there go my future husband. Where my little boyfriend at? There go my baby man. And once you try to check on me like, oh, you know I ain't being serious. I'm just joking around. Like we don't know all the best jokes have a little truth in them. I know because I was the punchline before. Mm. Just realize my own first time sounded like it. And my overprotective mother, she doesn't find out at the time. She finds out years later because of a poem. You know what she tells me? Every parent just wants to protect their child. But our fears are so large because we know about our own parents that fail or not. I never want to have that conversation with my son. But even God is everywhere at the same time and still watches their children die. Still watches these predators fix in their teeth because they know they can sexualize these little boys and we'll just say he's a lady killer. Every single time there's an assault, it's a drowning. We call it a baptism of him becoming a real man. They called my toddler too cute for his own good, and it doesn't sound like a compliment. It sounds like a warning. It sounds like ain't nothing new under my son. He look just like me, but God, it gotta be something in these genes that'll turn into hand-me-downs. I'm not afraid of a metaphor. I'm afraid of my own memories, but I told myself, I, I told myself, I told myself, I told myself. This pain will not be passed down to my son. There will be no generational curses to inherit. I rebuke a patriarchy that says we must wear our worst traumas like trophies, or that we must be silent in the face of those who gave us traumas in the first place. Mm. We teach our boys don't smile too big in pictures, don't cry too loud when hurt, don't show fear in the face of danger. We turn our boys into abstract paintings, tell them to show us how they feel, and they get mad at them when we don't understand what they're trying to say. One in four girls are sexually assaulted, one in five boys are touched, and those are only the numbers for those who speak up. I just want us to be accountable for once. We keep trying to put our kids into a child's place instead of putting them into a safe one. Woo! There are things that let this be the story of my family. I will teach my son that I am always a place to come to. I will teach my son we can talk about all of our feelings and emotions here. I will teach my son that I will always be there. I will teach my son there is a power in denying the things you do not want. I will teach my son how to say no. Even if I'm still learning how to say it myself. Mm. Mm.